Uh, we live. All good. Oh wait, I've got the second stream. All right, going live on that one as well. How are we, friends? How's it going? Hope you're all well. We're going to play a few word games today, as we always do. A little bit of chill music, relaxing, fun, simple stream. What are you grower, shower, lawn mowers googling today? <laughs> Is it easy to grow? What do you want to grow? You want to grow vegetables or fruits? A carrot? Potato? Plants? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good call. Just the whole lot of them. Hmm, L and an A. How strange. Welcome all vertical viewers as well. We're live, we're double timing. We got vertical, we got horizontal. Uh, we are doing it all, chat. We're doing it all. Is it easy to grow garlic, Kenzie says. Garlic, yes. I, it can't be hard. I don't know if you've ever had garlic sitting on your bench or in your fridge, but that just grows itself. Like, it doesn't even need light or water or dirt. It just grows itself. So how hard could it possibly be, eh? How hard could it possibly be? All right, feud of the day. Do astronauts. Ooh, I don't think we've seen this one before. You're looking up at the sky. You see a little white dot. You think it's an astronaut. And you're wondering to yourself, chat. Does that... Is that astronaut eat? I mean, they definitely eat. Poop. They definitely poop. They definitely breathe. They do all these things. Get taller in space. That's a pretty good guess. I'm going to put in the word space. And then if anything has the word space in it. We get it. No. Do they shower brush? That is a good call on the second stream. Nice. Just barely edging in there. Do they fly? I mean, it is sort of flying, I guess, in space. Uh, get taller. I think they get shorter. Because, oh, maybe they get taller. I guess your spine isn't getting compressed by the gravity. Sneeze, sleep, grow... Let's try grow. No. Let's try the word taller. Get taller in space. That's weird. I put in the word space and it didn't give me these answers, which I don't really understand how the game works, it seems. Get motion sickness. No. Get blind from the sun, Dennis. Uh, well, you can try, but... I mean, they're not that much closer to the sun, relatively. Dang. Wear diapers! There's a question. Jerk in space. Wow, that's... Never mind. Get paid for life. Drink pee. Why would they drink pee? Age slower. They'd have to be going... Very, very fast. It might be several trillionths... Slower. Have periods in space. That's interesting. Maybe... That is interesting, actually. Get paid. Of course they get paid. Drink their own urine. Th uh, two about pee. Great. I'm curious... About the diapers. Astronauts wear mag during launch, landing, and spacewalks. I'm guessing a mag is just some... Cool name of saying... Space diaper. <laughs> There you go. They wear diapers, chat. They wear diapers. Alright. We're gonna do connections. I'm gonna have a crack at this before I get all your help. So, if I'm ignoring your chat, it's just because I'm having a go at this myself. Rushmore Palmer's an Olympus Astroturf, Jumbotron Journeyman, Kiss Cam Bolognese, Creamsicle Fujifilm, Neapolitan Skybox, Hasselblad, Venetian, Scoreboard, Polaroid. 
Dang, this is the most amount of syllables I've ever seen. Wow. Okay, in a stadium, you'll have a Jumbotron, you'll have a Skybox, you'll have a Scoreboard, and you'll have a Kiss Cam. I reckon that's probably a good, a good shout. No, there's another one here somewhere. I don't recognize the word. Hmm. Bolognese, Neapolitan, we're talking spaghetti. Hasselblad, is that a type of potato? No, that's Russellback. I don't know what Hasselblad is. Journeyman, what does that go with? I don't see like, I would expect that to go with something like veteran or newbie or something. Polaroid. I don't know what's going on, chat. I need your help. Oh, Ratfinks, I'm sorry to hear that you're currently in hospital. I hope everything is okay. That's, uh, really terrible to, to hear, mate. Hope you're doing okay. I need your help, chat, because I have not a clue what any of these are. Palm Bolognese Neapolitan Creamsicle? I mean, they're all food related, I guess, but... That's... Really not enough, is it? We can try it, I suppose. No, one away. Mount Olympus, Mount Fujifilm. They're both camera bra brands, aren't they? Fujifilm, Olympus. I think Polaroid is a brand. Hasselblad, is that a camera brand? Blair? Brand? Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, Mount Olympus. Nation is a type of blind. <laughs> what is going on today? Venetian instead of palm ice creams. Is that an ice cream from Venice? Bolon wait, bolognese ice cream? Is this a th is that a thing? Really? Bolognese ice cream? One away still. Palm Venetian Neapolitan Bolognese. Italian foods. Like, yeah. Demonyms. What does demonyms mean? A noun used to denote the natives or inhabitants of a particular country, state, city. Etc. So not actually to do with food. The Bolognese from Bologna, I imagine. Neapolitan, is that Naples? Venetian is Venice. I don't know Parmesan. How this is too hard today. This is too hard today, chat. We only have one more mistake that we can make. Is Jumbotron a brand? I know they call the big sort of screen the Jumbotron. It's got to go with Kiss Cam, doesn't it? And we like Skybox and Scoreboard. Maybe Scoreboard isn't part of it. Inside your stadium. What group does AstroTurf go? I don't know, nobody. If we had, uh... AstroTurfing explained for kids. I gotta write that down. <laughs> That's a good idea. 
Uh, that's that'll, that's going to be a video. Sorry, just adding that to my notes chat. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Astroturfing explained for kids. Imagine you want people to vote for you. But they think you're just being selfish. You need to act like you're a grassroots campaign. Scoreboard with those seems good. Oh, we tried it already, Isabella. That's the one we already had a crack at. Jumbotron, Kiss Cam, Skybox Scoreboard. Yeah, we already guessed that. Let me make this a little bit smaller. AstroTurf goes in a state. Oh, AstroTurf, yeah. Of course. I mean, what sports do they play on AstroTurf? Isn't that like fake grass, though? Which one will we take out? I don't like it because. I don't know which of these we take out. Like. I'm guessing, like, either Skyboard or Polaroid goes with something else. Mount Olympus, Mount Rushmore, Mount Polaroid, Mount Scoreboard, Mount... Hasselblad's got to be a mountain, I think. Mount Creamsicle. Has anyone ever climbed Mount Creamsicle? Astrotorus is common in the US stadiums where it's too cold for grass. Sounds horrible to play on. Imagine playing soccer on AstroTurf. That would destroy your um, shins. That would be horrible. One of these has got to be a mountain. Mount AstroTurf? Mount Skybox? Mount... I mean, Fuji is a mountain, but I don't think Fujifilm... But then Olympus, I thought, went with Fujifilm because they're both camera brands. What is Creamsicle doing? Rock bands. Creamsicle, Journeyman, Kiss Cam, Rushmore. Are you kidding me? I have not heard of a single one of those. But I'm taking your word for it, Kenzie. Oh, starting with rock bands. Wow. Cream, Journey, Kiss, and Rush. Wow. That is an insane... <laughs> that is an insane spot. Wow. What a tough category. All right. How do we finish this off? We didn't actually get... No, which one did we take out of our stadium? The Kiss Cam we took out of our stadium, so it's got to be these four. And, ah, oh yeah. And these must be all camera brands. Hasselblad is the one that we got stuck on, but well done, chat. We really struggled our way through. Jeez, that's hard. I'd, uh, I'd be amazed if anyone got that by themselves without... Uh, getting help that is hard 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 i've never heard of um i guess if you've heard of hasselblad as a camera brand you'd probably get that one all right then the other three are still quite tough i think anyway well done champions well done well done well done let's do the uh, strands that's what it's called this is a new game where you got to figure out what the theme is and what are all the things as part of the theme. Terribly explained. <laughs> Gives you a clue back and forth. So there's one word that describes the category that everything is a part of and then every single letter joins the theme. So you can see you can go across like that. The letters have to touch. Back and forth. 
We've almost got tornado here, but not quite. Almost got torpedo, but not quite. What is back and forth gonna have to do with? Back and forth. Got nice there. You can see Rickroll, Ratfinks. No, but that's amazing that Rick Roll was in there. Strands has Rick rolled us tap. Not even an answer. Uh, we haven't done today's word or plushy. We might do it. Rocket, how's my day been? It's been good. Yeah, it's just my lunch break, so we're just playing some puzzles for fun. Back and forth. Back and forth. Ratfink sees shame. You see all the worst words, Ratfinks. Oh no, you're just saying it was a shame about Rick Astley and his number one hit single. Never gonna give you up. 80s heartthrob. Dome. Dell. Back and forth. Maybe fourth. Something that comes in fours. Rave, roll. Do I see? What a. Alright. Can we get palindrome here? It's so close. I see pal and I see drome. How do you spell palindrome? I don't think we can do palindrome. I've got endrome. Oh, it's an I. Oh, I can't even spell, mate. Imagine playing word games and not being able to spell. I thought it was E. But good I. Zek. We're doing palindromes today. That makes sense. Back and forth. They go back and forth. Uh, thanks for your message on the other chat, Joseph. God, that win... YouTube puts, like, the emoji, like, reactions right on top of the dot, so I can't actually pin that until there's a few more messages there. All right, we need more palindromes, chat. What's your favourite palindrome? It's sort of nice that this is... Oh, no, I was saying split, but of course we can go diagonal through, can't we? <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. All right, pinned. Can I show the full grid? Can you not see the full grid? Oh, why didn't someone tell me that my window is completely jank? There we go. Sorry, chat. You gotta tell me these things. <laughs> there we go. Alright, chat. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Palindromes. There's not that many palindromes, is there? We've got all these A's and R's and C's. There's something going on down here. e -carace. Race car. That is a famous palindrome. Good eye, Zek. Race car. So if you don't know, chat, a palindrome is the same forward as it is backwards. Level. That's a palindrome, isn't it? Nice. I guess, yeah, just... 
I just figured out that, of course, you can spell it either way, can't you? You can go... I mean, that's the purpose of the palindrome, but I mean, I can drag the the letters either way. Uh, Madame. There. Civic. Nice. There we go. No. There we go. Hello, Daniel. Elliot. Zekopa Flu. Noon. Wow, a lot of short words today. Kayak, of course. Rotator. I didn't know that one. Well done, chat. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Let's do... Let us do some crosswords together, friends. Move your body rhythmic rhythmically. That's going to be dance. Word after neural or safety. Nets. Easy. Electric potential energy. Well, abbreviation. All right. Epi. Easy peasy. Video killed the radio star. Video killed the radio star. Pros opposite. Amateur. No, can't. <laughs> Word before Nino or Paso. Uh, L. Discover. Find. Is it as easy as that, chap? Oh! <laughs> oh, usually. Blockables is hard, but that was easy today. We were the Declaration of Independence. Declaration of Independence. Good stuff. All right, let's keep it. Let's smash out the New York Times Mini as well while we're going. State in the Mountain Time Zone. Like, I don't know. Four letters Utah. Is that... <laughs> I think it's got mountains, so I'm going to go for that. Viral image is probably a meme. Dangerous stuff to put in a microwave. Metal. Something list. No idea. Question asker during a trivia night. Host. Oh, I think we're actually right. Many uh, ancient shark fossils. Teeth. Answer. T response to R not. Am to. To. The face of change. He heads. Oh, heads. Like, yeah, you're... Ding! Parking areas a lot. Oh, my God. Chat, we're flying. We are flying, chat. I can't believe I got Utah right. I didn't. <laughs> so, first four-letter U.S. state I thought of. I wonder if there's many U.S. states that are four letters. I can't actually think of any others. Sure. And the list was to-do list. Good stuff, chat. Was today the day, Ratfinks? For what? Cull. Do I always know the order of the letters within the colour? Oh, for blockables? Sorry, I'm behind on chat. No, you don't. So sometimes you have to fiddle around letters uh, to actually solve the final puzzle there. Uh, which is usually challenging, but in that case, I think there was only one word that couldn't go a certain direction. Sometimes you have words where letters can go all sorts of different ways. Uh, penne, a e g pasta. Something John, tiny dancer singer. Elton, lay out money, don't know. The something of Fife, Macduff and Macbeth. Don't know. Keep something. Suva Utineers. Keepsakes. Annoying people. Pests. The first Greek letter is alpha. Rump or sirloins. Steaks. Thousand kilos is a ton. British. South American mansion chain is the Andes. And we are D E T L. Tail tall. Tiled? Chewed? No. Tiled. <laughs> oh, that is it. Like the best 
That's the set of crosswords I've ever done. That's crazy, chat. So I was just lucky that time. Yeah, we were. Cool. Um, if I go back to it. Like these ones, you know, you know 100%. Um, even radio you do, because if I put the A there, we wouldn't be able to get D-I-O. The only one we didn't know here was con. So that could have been C-O-N there. But often you'll find, you know, if there was a... Let's say there was an orange there, then we could have gone that way, or we could have gone that way, or, you know, that way. Then it gets a little bit trickier. Do I have Pacific days I go live? I think you mean specific, Alan. And yes, it's sort of today and then in two days at the same time. Only twice a week at the moment. But the, the streams are pretty casual, pretty chill. So drop by when you can. Uh, ooh. Muoa, Inpau, Derig, Giam, Frerly, Irium, Midfa, Yuri, Unali, Opimamo, Yogmaro, Algeim. But the first letter goes with the box of the number, yes. Yeah, so that's all you know. You know where it starts, but you don't know the order or where it ends. It's a good game, but, like, I'd never be able to make shorts out of blockables because it's too complicated. Like, it's just a little bit confusing. And shorts, people have got to understand it straight away. Hmm. Where, how are we getting a word here? If we could get a word here, we'd get midge for free. Is like fleary a word? No. Flabby? Flacky? Flaggy? Flammy? Is that a word? Something that's really flam. Hello, Avocado. If you can get the fifth row, you can get Midge. Great minds and all that, Ratfinks. But what do we do with this? I could do Flaggy. Which is... One, two... That'd be four moves. We gotta be able to find better than that. Uh, Cole, can I ask, is when you have your algorithm designing these boards, is there always a way that you can get a word in one move? Or is that not guaranteed? Friday in three? Usually one or two. Okay, so it's not guaranteed. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how you organize the letters, but it always feels like there's more opportunities than if it was completely random. I'm not sure if that's true. We could do opium in three as well. Gram. Ooh. Where do we do gram? Oh, in one. There you go. Yeah, let's just do that. Good eye, Ratfinks. Window in two. I like that as well. Oops. Midge is completely destroyed now. Shoot. Ooh, I was thinking we could do pyrite, but we don't have a T. Are there any other words that start with P-Y-R-I? No, just pyrite. Fillery. Yillery. Millery. I think a um, millery is not going to work, is it? P. 
pillory. Is pillory a word? This, uh... This word search function's getting quite the workout, Cole. It's not random. Are these actually... Do you actually review every single board, Cole? Or do you set them yourself? I just assumed you had an algorithm doing all the work. Hey, Maggie. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're doing alright. Hey, Pat. Good to see you. Most of the regulars are on the vertical stream. Hope you're doing well. Well, we can do ugly. Let's do ugly. You have an algorithm that generates them according to the spec. Ah, okay. So there is some logic to make it easy-ish or possible. One thing I uh, have thought about in this game, Cole, is like, I think a really good strategy is to just minimize the amount of vowels you use. Uh, because a lot of the time when we can't clear the board, it's because we're too low on vowels. But you can't really have too many vowels. I guess if you're left with a lot of O's and U's, you'd probably be in trouble. But just actually actively minimizing vowels, I think, is a good strategy. We can do Fairy and Groom. Then we're left with a 5x2, which is kind of gross. Gross. Switch M and Y for army. We could do army. We could do fiery as well. Now, nah, I'm just gonna risk it and we're gonna go a 5x2 and just see what happens. No, we're not because ego and arm are gonna go. I suspect... Like, as a ratio of possibilities, three across... It always seems that when you get down to, like, three in one direction, you get a lot of automatic hits. So I suspect that three across is sort of the maximum amount, percentage of combinations that will create a word. If that makes sense. Anyway. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five and a half vowels left. Okay, this might actually be too many vowels. Um... We could do or. I'd prefer to do something about these O's and U's first before getting rid of that E if we could. Pro. I don't want it. See, pro uses two consonants. Poo. <laughs> Oppo. Oro. We could do Roo as well, or Moo. Is UIR a word? No. UOR. UER. UR. Hat? Why am I streaming twice at the same time, Kieran? Oh, it's because some people prefer the... Most people prefer the horizontal stream but the vertical stream gets put into youtube shorts feed so you get some random people stopping by that way nice to give people a choice pom or mop two vowels p i think yip's gonna be a word isn't it mef is that a word pem no M. Alm? No. Just considering my options, chat, before we lose the game. Pry. Yeah, let's just do pry, I think. Okay. Apparently, there's still a word. I'm guessing it's O-U. No. O-I. Oi. 
My theory about having as many vowels as possible has turned into complete nonsense chat, so, you know. Still, three stars. Not bad. I'm just going to use a little boys room chat, so hang about. Enjoy the tunes. I'll be back in just two shakes of a rat's tail. One second. back champions we are back i hope everything is okay right finks i mean the thing about hospitals is no one wants to ever be in a hospital because you're either sick you're visiting someone who's sick or you're working <laughs> working is not so bad compared to the other two but no one ever wants to be in a hospital Hey, Casey, good to see you. How's it going? All right, chat. We are going to go ahead and do some searchals, I think. Uh, but we are not searchals, no, the word chase. That's what I meant. We're going to do the daily, and then we're going to go through some user-submitted games as well. How do you get to the correct screen? You can't read anything. If you want the other stream, Pat, uh, just check the uh, pinned comment and you'll join the, the regular one. Vast. What do you consider vast? A desert plushie? Ocean? Hope you're doing alright, Kenzie. Everyone's having a rough time at the moment, which is never good. You got a bad viral chest infection announcement it makes you a poor rat. Well, take it easy. No need to stress yourself. Uh, uh, if we're going vast, let's go the universe. There's nothing more vast than that. We're vasting to the max. Space, you say, Isabella, yeah. Marine. Maybe the ocean, then. Maybe the ocean. There you go. Good stuff, chat. Good stuff. Okay, I think we played up to 15 of the user-created games. I like to do five at a time, because I remember. Kieran, I hope your surgery goes alright, maybe. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, ba da 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 da. Oh, honey, honey, whoa, 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 whoa. You are my candy girl, and you got me watching you. Sugar. Yeah, why not candy? Sweet. Chocolate. Nice. Milk Switzerland Cocoa. I think that's pretty good to get that one in too. Once milk came, I think it's pretty straightforward and then Switzerland's a giveaway. But I like how the... I think a good way to structure your clues is to make the clues better as they go along. So the last clue should almost be a giveaway, I think. 17 spins <whistles> Roulette Slot 
slot machine? Dizzy? Oh my gosh. Let's try Dizzy. Air. Spins in the air like an engine. A fan. Plushy. That's a good guess. Yeah, well done, mate. Well done. Hello, mapping. Nobody. How's it going? You've been having a decent day? Well, it's good to be grateful for every good day you get. We all only get a certain number of days and... You know. It's easy to get into the mindset of having less than you did yesterday when, um... You know, we should all be grateful for everything that we get. Hidden. What's something that would be hidden? Oh, mapping. Thank you for the dollar, mate. That's very kind. That'll buy me... Um, an apple. <laughs> but I do appreciate the support, mate. It's 2am where you are, Kieran. Uh, it's quarter to one in the Arvo, mate. Secret plushie. Plushy, I hope you're not cheating, mate. Because uh, that's two very, very good guesses in a row. Almost a little bit suspiciously good. But good guess. Uh, 19 or up to must be rainbow. Clouds. Leprechaun. I'm going to go leprechaun. Oh, you're doing very well, Plushy. Getting too existential. Existentialism with Tom. Existentialism explained for kids. Nihilism explained for kids. You like the music? I'm glad. Chat, what do you think of the music? I'm going to do a poll in the um, vertical one. Because I think there's more people in. Music. Love it. Hate it. No music. Oh, I like music, but not this. I guess those are through three options. I don't have another option. Did I not spell leprechaun right? No, that's fine. Rainbow and fantasy. We're a unicorn. Pew! Arson explained for kids. Yeah, I'm not sure how I could make a video out of that. In my last video, I think we burned out something. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it makes me laugh. Uh, so we're up to 20. Electronic. What's your favorite electronic thing? Your day was bad, Kenzie, because you had a headache bigger than Russia and your hands are super shaky and you're nauseous. Well, take some painkillers and relax, mate. And we're all just going to chill. Yeah, most people like the music. I think it's good as well. There's this other content creator who gets, like, no views, who has, like, really chill streams, so I ripped him off. I can't remember his name, but he's lucky to get, like, one or two people watching his live stream. No, I can't remember his name. If I do, I'll, I'll shout him out. Electronic. Light bulb. Computer. Microwave. Pikachu. <laughs> I mean, he's electric, not electronic. Um, electronic. I guess we can just go computer. But I don't think so. Portable phone. Keyboard. Electronic portable keyboard. Laptop. Well done, Isabella, Zek, Emma, Alan, Kenzie. <laughs> Basically everyone but me. Well done, well done. Good stuff, champions. Alright. 
We're gonna do Pedantil. I saw in the Discord very, very quickly that everyone got this in like two guesses or four guesses or eight guesses. So this is gonna be embarrassing when I don't. There's a massive clue here. We got like a negative number and then a degree. Like, are these cold temperatures? We're somewhere very, very cold. Five and five. Ocean, maybe. No. Hmm. Not an ocean. This word here is similar to of ocean. Something, something is the... Is it a river? No. And Ar Arctic. No, that's we're five and five. That's six letters. Equator. What do you? Oh, let's try state. The states of something. Alaska. I'm just gonna try like Denmark to see if we are a country. Maybe we're not a country, that's weird. Ratfinks just says polar bears. Dang it, Ratfinks, you're too good at this game. Oh, I thought that was right. I can't. I. I guess it would be polar bear, wouldn't it? If it was right. But that is a dang good guess. Hey, James, how's it going? Common words. Oh, all right. I was hoping we could get this very quickly. Plant, animal, star, space, outer. That's why we're cold, chat. We're so cold, we're not even in Earth anymore. 14's pretty good. Not as good as some of the people in the Discord. I think someone got in like four. I can't remember who. Minus 270 degrees Celsius. That was the real clue there, wasn't it? Like, that's a th three-digit number. If I sort of clicked on, that's a three-digit number, and that's Celsius, I reckon. I reckon someone could get that very, very, very quickly. Terrorism explained for kids, Kieran? I don't think I can make it work. It's too... It's... Too real, if that makes sense. Darn it, Casey says, alright. Oh, yeah, I think Casey was... 60-something guesses in the Discord. Sorry I didn't do worse than you, Casey. I tried my best, matey. Have a break, Kenzie. I'll see you soon, matey. Um, Alright, let's do some time guesser. This is a game where we got to figure out when and where we are, Chuck. And you're going to help me out. Alright. This is obviously Las Vegas. Because I see the Sphinx. I see the Luxor Hotel. Where else could we be but Vegas? Where are the pyramids? I think I've had to find these before and I kind of struggled. There we go. Here we are. Anyone see a sphinx? Is it... I know there's more than that set of three pyramids, isn't there? Is that where the sphinx is? Does anyone know? Uh, yeah, mapping. If you want to be moderator, you just got to hang around and be a good apple. And if you do for a handful of streams, then I'll probably make you mod. You can see a sphinx here. I'm going to guess we're here. Now, the year is a little bit of a more challenging guess, but this is an old looking camera. Adam, happy birthday to you. It's 
So I don't know, I guess we just go early, don't we? 1915. The problem with this game is that you can have new photos taken with old cameras. So sometimes you get a photo that looks like this and it was like 1988. And you're like, what are you talking about? Hey Finn, how's it going? Have you done the time guesser today? Because if not, you can help me out. 50s or 60s, really? I mean, we're sometime after the nose fallen off. Right, I'm gonna go 1925. And we're just gonna hope. 42. Sandbags protecting the Great Sphinx of Egypt against enemy bombs during World War II. Oh. Okay. I miss. I'm guessing there's sandbags down here. I miss that. I don't think it would have been enough of a clue to say that they're worried about it being bombed <laughs> by enemies. That's hard. That's hard, chap. KLM. You can van Lincolnton. Mokba. Has anyone been to Mokba? Is that like Liechtenstein or something? Why isn't this updating? The nose was shot off by Napoleon's troops. Are you just telling Furfies Finland or is this actually a thing that happened? That's ridiculous if it's true. Mokba sounds Russian. Da. This sounds more like German, though. Or Swiss. Can anyone see a Mokba, Switzerland? Or Liechtenstein? Lion, Milan. I think my voice is a bit quiet. I'm just gonna. Bump it up a few notches. There we go. Moscow for sure. Is Mokba Moscow? I'm gonna take your word for it, Finland. But that's surprising to me. Some search will after Kieran. Uh, I will finish stream by going through some requests, so if we have some user-generated search rules, we'll do them. But my dailies are still videos at the moment, so makes it a bit tricky. Is that an airport there? Alright, this is an airport. We're going to assume that Finland knows this, and we're going to say we're the 19... 80s, I guess? Maybe? Ooh, earlier? Hard to tell. That light is dark. I need to turn my light on, I think. Get some bit of light on my face. Ooh. There we go. That's a bit better. Ooh. Shadows. 74 mapping. Right, we're gonna go 74. You've literally got map in your name, so. Dang. 1960s was a good shout, Finn. Uh, and this was the. The Volvo airport or something. I can't read that. A Royal Dutch Airlines plane refueling at Vanukovo. Moscow. This is rough, chat! We're not having our best, but we're gonna persist. <laughs> Dang it. Hascotto Fedora. Fuso. This is not getting any easier. Where's my subscribe light? On the ground. It's not actually a subscribe light, it's a YouTube light, but there we go. Not on at the moment. <laughs> I have to, like, I can't keep it up because 
Obviously I use my webcam and my day job and I don't really want to have it up. And then plus if I'm using the green screen for corporate Tom stuff, um, I don't want it up. Hungary or Finland? That sounds likely. If Finland Taipan is saying Hungary, then I'm going to guess it ain't Finland. So we are going to go Hungary. I guess Budapest is as good as anywhere, isn't it? Ah. Uh, that looks like a military vehicle. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a truck delivering cadavers. I don't know. It sort of looks like a hearse. <laughs> Um, maybe we go 47. Fifty-seven. Dang. A composite photo of a street scene in 50s Budapest. There you go. Well done, Finn, for getting hungry. And Zek for helping out with that as well. Ah, old cadaver delivery. It used to be like milk, you know, the milkman would come and drop off the milk crates and then the cadaver men would come. And I should probably get off that train. Okay. Levis. Aymar Bankasi. Ooh, the erotic shop. Hello. Les Doyers. Yappy. Delivering cadavers, you could think of nicer things to be sent. I'm amazed that the business was so successful. The cadaver delivery business. Where do they get all the cadavers from? It's ridiculous. Uh, is that the Savoy or something else? Oh, it's a Best Western. These flags are not buttering me parsnips at all. That's not doing anything for me. <laughs> Why don't you, you just have the flag of the country you're in, mate? Vichy Etia Exanesi Perfumery Optic. Perfume and glasses, excellent. This guy's doing a bit of shoe shining on the side. White socks with the black shoes, mate. That's not a good look in any decade, I'm gonna say. I think that's Slazenger branded. Not a good look, mate. Not a good look. Germany, you think, Nate? Do we have Levis in Australia? Yeah. I think I've got a pair of Levis in the uh, in my closet, actually. Maybe. Not sure, actually. Uh, that looks like a German flag there, so. Is this really German language, though? Sure. Oh, no, Belgium. Is that Belgium? Yeah, I think that's Belgium. Where are we? Now, the question you ask yourself with Belgium is, does it look nice or does it look rubbish? And it looks a bit rubbish, so we're in Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh there's few sort of consistencies with my stream, but me like talking trash about Brussels is always gonna be a consistency. Hotel kebab? I'd love to stay at the hotel kebab. Alright, we're gonna say Brussels. Nineteen. Ninety-eight. I reckon, I reckon. Hello, Lexi. Can you have mod day six of asking? It's not your sixth day of asking, Bubbles. Uh, and no, because you're lying to me, mate. Eastern Bull? <laughs> what? What? Dang. Taxum Square, Eastern Bull. Not my best! Yesterday you confused bit.be and .de because the URL was a mirror image. 
Ah, that's tough. Finland. Look for a Ru Levy store in Brussels. Wouldn't have helped. Mapping. Would not have helped. Racism explained for kids on corporate Tom Kieran. I mean, maybe. I've gotten that one written down already, but I still don't know how I can make it work. Oh my gosh, chat! Did you know the Earth was flat? And that they've lied to us? Why did not anyone tell me? I can't... How has it taken this long for anyone to tell us? Antarctic eyesore. Jesus Christ. Gleason's flat earth map. Truth in plain sight. Oh yeah, great. Excellent, excellent pun, mate. Excellent. Water is always level 8. Yeah, you... Dingbats. <laughs> NASA's official Earth image 2012. NASA's official Earth image 2013. Oh no, they've taken it with a different focal length chat. We must be living in a different... It must be fake. <laughs> Gee whiz. 200 Bruce Earth to not a spinning bowl. FlatEarth101.com Dang, this guy's been, uh, he's a, he's been cooked. He's been out in the sun too long, and he has been fried like an egg, chap. This guy's got tickets to the Cookers Association annual convention. Um, but where are we? We got palm trees. I think this is probably Lion Eye Farms. I'm thinking Miami, maybe? This guy is not terribly convinced, I think. Los Angeles, you think, Finn? Could be. How do you tell the difference between Miami and Los Angeles? Like, it seems a little bit... We got some mountains there, which is interesting. You do have mountains in LA. Is Miami flat? It does seem quite, like, sparse. Like, you had a few... rubbish-looking hotels there. Oh, another dollar. Thank you, Mapping. I think that's enough to buy me a coffee now. Or at least grind in my own beans, but I appreciate the love, matey. There's Lake Michigan on the sign. Are you serious? Where's this Lake Michigan far sign? Psychedelic research crew, mate. You gotta take a break from the psychedelics. <laughs> um, where did someone see the Lake Michigan sign? Cl Cub Cadet. Puberty explained for kids in corporate Tom Nate. Um, yeah, I don't know how I could make that work either. I've got to have a narrative to go with it, you know? I've got to have a story. But I do like... I want them to be more educational than they are at the moment. Right now, they're sort of a little too focused on the humour, where I actually want people to learn something. In the name of Jesus, yeah. That famous Flat Earth denier, Jesus. Swearing explained for kids, Kieran? Hitler explained for kids? I mean, maybe Hitler. I don't know how swearing would work. I don't want to actually swear in the videos. Because I can get sort of... It's bad for advertisers. I almost had a sponsorship going. About some crappy puzzle game. But they didn't want to pay me as much as I asked for. So it didn't happen, unfortunately. But I... we were very close. 
All right, someone said there's this Lake Michigan sign here somewhere. I can't see it, but I'm going to take their word that it's in here. Uh, I'm going to say 2014, because this says 2013. And I'm going to hazard a guess, chat, that Lake Michigan is in Michigan. And now, if only I knew where the gosh darn heck Michigan was. Am I? That sounds likely. Oh, is Michigan Canada? No, that's Mantanova. Minnesota! No. Tom's geography skills at full... On full display chat. Mississippi, Missouri, Massachusetts, Manitoba, Minneapolis, Minnesota, so many M's champions, Montana, west of Chicago, now if only I know where Chicago was, here we go, Michigan. Is this Lake Michigan, this adult-looking place? South end of Lake Michigan, west of Chicago. West of Chicago. Wait, where's Lake Michigan? Chicago's here. I'm going west. Is is it tiny? East, okay. Other west. Backwards west. Alright. Here's a beach. Doesn't look big enough, does it? Across the sati line. Right, so on the other side, is it? Yeah, this looks like a nice beach. Let's go that one. This is Lonely Piano Kid. You can hang out in the other one. In the other stream in the link. There's a lot more people there. Prison Ride explained for kids. I think there's definitely something I could do with prison stuff. I do want to do a Stanford prison experiment explained for kids. Maybe long form. Not sure yet. Uh, alright. <laughs> Someone told me there's Lake Michigan on a sign! Oh, there we go. 2022. Santa Monica. Dang, chat. Dang! <laughs> This might be the worst score we've ever got. Is that even 30,000? It's not even 30,000. That's pathetic, chat. That's pathetic. Oh. <laughs> Alright, chat. I'm going to check my request form and see if we got any requests. On the way. That we haven't done yet. Oh, we got a few, I think. Here we go. Olivia's got a word chase. We're going to do Olivia's word chase. I don't think she's in chat at the moment. But that's alright. Hopefully she'll catch up. Crust! Pizza. Dang. Funnily enough, chat. Speaking of pizza... I'm having pizza for dinner tonight, uh, just because for one of my new videos I need a pizza box as a prop. That's the excuse I'm telling myself so I get to eat pizza for dinner. Anyway, chat. <laughs> Filling. Uh, cheese filled crust. Dessert. Uh, spoiler alert, but I've got a video coming where it's like 
Pokemon, but they're pizza related, and it's got a character called Pizza Chew, who your enemy takes and then locks in the pizza box. Pizza, pizza! I think that's going to be a good video. What's more fun than a pizza chew? Anyway. <laughs> That whole video was me coming up with the pun pizza chew and then <laughs> I was like, that's pretty funny. And then designing an entire scenario <laughs> around the word pizza chew. <laughs> that's how we come up with ideas. Crust filling dessert or a pie. Anyway, chat. Well done, plushy. Well done, well done. Pizza explained for kids, Pat. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I could explain pizza for kids, but... Maybe. I can't even remember. What is the... What is that video? Let me just think about what the actual title of that video is. Oh, right. Identity theft. <laughs> it's like, pizza chew. How can I make that into a video? A to B. Oh, identity theft. So get ex excited. For identity theft. Explain for kids. Pi Day Puzzle. That Was that made on Pi Day? Uh, I think she might have. It says the day after Pi Day, but maybe it was Pi Day in her time, not mine. Anyway. Pizza Chew, identity theft. Just bringing it to kids. See you later, Mapping. Next stream will be in two days at the same time as today. But thanks for joining. Sexism explained for kids? Maybe. I try to avoid topics where I'm going to get, like, people really fired up over. And I sort of figure people get fired up over that, no matter how I present it. Tom. Finland, this is your game, mate. Uh, we're going to say matey. Ride. Tom and ride. What would you associate me and a ride with? Uh, how's it going, Boomy? Yeah. Tom and Ride. Tom's going for a ride. On the Solve Train. You thought I was going to change to Explain for Idiots because that's what won the poll, but then you keep it as Explain for Kids. Yeah! I'm just, at the moment, Kenzie, I'm sort of experimenting where the lines are with YouTube. I suspect that they won't mark it as made for kids. If I just don't put made for kids in the title. So, sorry, if I don't put explained for kids, so, you know. Capitalism explained, and then just have that as a title. Even if in the video I say explained for kids. So, we're still sort of, we're still flirting with the line. And figuring things out. Yeah, why are you might to repeat the year you went from gist gifted to repeating the year? Well, boomy, you just gotta try, try hard and focus and do your best, and you'll be all right, mate. Tom and ride. No, I'm gonna say train. Triangle. Tom ride triangle. How would I ride on a triangle? How is this working? Solver Tom Triangle Rider The famous rider of triangles Bermuda I don't know. I'm going to say Bermuda Bongo Finn What are you thinking <laughs> pirate ship yes the famous pirate shanty instrument the bongo I guess they do have drums so maybe that's not as silly as I thought percussion hmm we can try it oh well done plushy 
I don't quite understand. <laughs> How? Why? A crash ride is the most common type of symbol. Right, okay. I'm very unfamiliar with my orchestral instruments. I don't know what Tom's doing there though, Finland. A Tom is a tripod drum. There you go. We needed chat's help for that one. Well done, Finn. Good chat. Good one, and if I was doing it by myself, I would not have gotten there. So thank you, chat, for your help. All right, chat. Zek Dopper, who I saw in chat just before, has got a puzzle for us. Target. Archery. Fast target. Fast moving targets. What's a fast target? Artillery? Walmart? Oh yeah, like target is in the, the competitor to Walmart. Shooting. I can try shooting. So you shoot targets. Run. Uh, hunting. Catch. Target. Fast. Run. What's a fast target that runs away that you want to catch? Paintball? How do you recommend yours to me, Kieran? As in, how do you submit a custom? Uh, if you go into my channel About Me page, there's links to the uh, submission form, request form, where you can send it, and then I'll do it. How's it going, PS3H? Hope you're well, mate. Rabbit. Yeah. Could be. No. Tag. I think we got way too off into actually shooting. There's nothing here that actually tells us it's going to be about shooting besides maybe target a little bit. Tag. Target. Fast. Run. Catch. Baseball? Yeah. No. What was it? Chase. Ah, tricky, tricky, tricky. Only five viewers for PS3 for H. Oh, we got a few mother. We I'm dual streaming, so most people are in the other stream. Uh, the only reason I'm doing a vertical stream is because it gets put on the shorts feed, maybe. But most people prefer the other one. All right, Kenzie, we got your search all, mate. They're all just synonyms to chase. I mean, that's a way to do it. Chat, you're Googling. You're wanting to know if something is important. There's something that you do. And you want to know why you do it. So you might brush your teeth. You might shower. Why is it important to... Why is it important to showers? Why is it important to eat healthy? Why is it important to exercise? Oh, that doesn't fit either. To routine, to urinate. If you can't work that one out, mate, you're in trouble. But we're going to try it. Hmm... Why is Kenzie not a mod yet? That's a great question. Congratulations, Kenzie. Remove the... Fez of... Peasantry. And apply the... Towel of... Blueness. Uh, I haven't eaten today, chap. My mind's not working very well. <laughs> Why, chat? 
Is it important to breathe? That's a good question, PS3. But definitely not right, because the letters don't work. Why is it important to repent? Relax. Receive. Re. Modes. Remulk. Reform. Because you got to get better. That's why you got to reform. Re what? Hint, you do it every day. Resist. Redact. Repel. Rebirth. Re. What do we do every day, chat? Re. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we don't have an A, we don't have an I, O, or U, so we only have access to E and Y for our vowels. Re... Zist. Re... Relep, release. Reawaken, receive. Why is it important to... Recover. Recline. Re. Re. Wait, no more E's. We're out of vowels. How can we be out of vowels? No E, A, no I, no O. No U, no third E. <laughs> Cycle. It's so easy, chat. It's so easy. Recycle. Yes, you gotta save the world, mate. You gotta save the world. Oh, it's so easy. Well done, avocado. Good job, matey. Recycle. Recycle. Go eat some food in a little bit. Last game, chat. We're going to play Dazzle. Haven't done any of these today, actually. We're going to start with Recycle. So we get clues on the meaning, clues on the spelling, car, uh, ocean, boar. Boar's not bad on spelling. Bar. Born. Grow. Blow. Broad. You just got here, PS3? We'll be back in a couple of days, maybe. Bronk. Block. Broth. Ooh! <laughs> Getting there on spelling, chat. Breathe. No. Broth. Why broth? Uh, croth. Is that a word? Sloth. Broth. Ah, the B's not important. Brother. Good thinking, though. What game is this? This is Dowsel. So we got to guess a secret word, and it tells us if we're close on the meaning of the word or close on the spelling. So we mean something about 2,800 words away from sloth and about... And we spell about 105 words away from broth and froth. Uh, goth. Moth. That R seems important as well, doesn't it? Loft. Math. Thorn. Hmm. Hello, Lily. How's it going? Meth. Quoth the Raven. Nevermore. Wow. What is going on with spelling? Throw. Thou. Truth. 
Math, meth, moth. Yeah, moth is definitely better. So the O is definitely got something going on, maybe. Doth, thou help me solve the puzzle. Though. Trough, fourth. There's a good guess. Golf. Throw, there's a good guess. Using that T and H. Through should be a lot worse. Yes, it is. Cloth. Hmm. Ah, da, 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 da. Through and through. Grow. Row is close on meaning. Not bad on spelling. Glow. Growl. Howl. Grow. Big. Increase. See you later, PS3. Thanks for joining. Glad you like the videos, matey. See you soon. Thorn. I think we tried that. Bone meal. Plant. Soft. Cross. Ooh. Welcome back, nobody. Large garden. Why grow? Um. Shrink. No, it grows a lot better than shrink. Age. Adult. Grow. What about growth? I mean, that's a lot better for the spelling, isn't it? Worse. See, that's interesting. See this TH? That is actually getting us further away than grow. Broad. Wow, it's weird. Mo. Ooh. Okay, that's good on meaning. Uh, so care, tend, water your garden. What do you do with the uh, lawn? Mo. Shave. You grow a plant. Harvest. You harvest. Growing. Trim. Cater. Huh. Jenny, I'm glad you love the videos. See you later, avocado. Have a good night, man. Toe. Low. Snow. Rain. Broth. Laugh. Crafty. Maybe craft. Broth. Bro. Born. Blown. Toe. Towel. Troll. Hmm. Trim. We well, must be getting there, chat. Orb. Orbit. Bubble. Mo. Mower. Lower. Mow the lawn. You grow a lawn. Your garden. You raise the roof. <laughs> a trowel. Farm, farming, hmm, mowing, mother, mow, care, tend, plant, weed. 
Oh! Why is weed close? Weed's got multiple meanings. Weeding. Seed blow. Meh. I don't think it's that me meaning, chat. I mean, a weed can be like a literal weed in the ground. Or you could go weeding, pulling weeds out. You recommended so a while ago. It's not bad. Means like weed, spelt like broth. Breathe. Ah, uh, it's growth, I think. No. No, we've tried that, haven't we? Feed, crop. Crop's not bad. Ooh, nice sunflower. Whack. A loft. I don't know, chat. Weed. Weeding. You're nurturing. You're planting. You're gardening. Farming. Why are these words far away, chat? Wheat. Corn. Boomy suggestion. Uh, we've done so. We haven't done heed. Wheat. Like a weed is something negative, isn't it? Like you're trying to plant and you're not getting there. Flower. Low. Row. Rose not bad on spelling. Roth is great on spelling. Don't even know what that word means. Ruth. Roth. Thor. Are we the Norse god of thunder? I don't think we're Thorn, are we? No. Doesn't it feel like Thorn should be way better on both of those sides? Truth. Justin thinks broccoli. You are going wide with broccoli, mate. But we will try it. Need. Uh, you're getting confused, mate. Weed's good on meaning, not spelling. Planet Hoth. Soft. Sloth. A moth. Both. Voth, Koth, Zoth, Soth, Doth, Hoth. Horn. I don't understand these spelling clues today. A rose. Ah, oh, Trowel. Did we try Trowel? I think we might have tried Trowel already. Oath. Ooh, good thought. Definitely a good thought. Roach. Oh, what about like a roach? Dang. Thought a roach might be like a weed because they're both pests. Root. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, Kenzie, well done, matey. Well done, well done, well done. A root. That's what we didn't try. We didn't try the doubles. I got stuck on the H. Because we kept trying T with H. We should have tried T and H separate. And seen which is better. But a root like a weed. Uh, why is seed so far away from root? What are your close words to root, mate? I don't even know if this game has, like, close words. Anyway, chat. Thank you so much for joining. 
We'll be back in two more days. Same bat time, same bat shell. More fun. More nonsense. More of everything. <laughs> Uh, thank you again, everybody. See you soon, champions. Bye for now.